Pretty soon, no one will have a reason to stay home anymore. Another city effort has transformed a rundown riverfront property into a premier whitewater park, giving our residents another great reason to get out into the great outdoors. To a raft full of elected officials, navigating whitewater rapids was easy after navigating the regulatory challenges of improvements to the river and Brock Park. Getting the money through the legislature initiated um, not only the channel improvements but the improvements to this park site. So it was a real opportunity for us to take something that was somewhat of a liability and turn it into a real special place. Yeah. Channel improvements turned this stretch of the Truckee River into a whitewater park for kayaking, tubing, and rafting. Green lawns run right up to the river and a brand new play structure invites kids to climb around. The revamped Rock Park adds to the list of available activities at Urban Parks and Sparks. Uh, when people move into an area, the first thing they ask about are, are the park system and the school system. Um, so it, it offers people a chance uh, for uh, healthy recreation opportunities, uh, and I think it's really a cornerstone of any successful city. So what do Sparks residents think about getting a whitewater park of their own? Oh, I think they did a great job. Just like looking at the grass that they have, it's nice. They've done a really good job. Oh, it's great. This is our first time here, actually. And it seems like a really nice place for the kids, so. Yeah. I think it's very fun to get wet. I want to go here every day because it's fun. In the summer, I want to go here. I think this is a great idea. It's awesome. You can come in and enjoy and have fun with your family and relax, huh? <laughs> if you haven't been down here yet, you need to come down here because it is a spectacular, spectacular addition to our community. From the river to the legends at Sparks Marina, Sparks offers residents more reasons to stay and play right here at home. I've been here 20 years, and to see the transformation from marina to, to this is mind-boggling. When I was growing up here, of course, uh, this was a much different area. We used to hunt ducks and pheasants out here between the Nichols Ranch, the Martini Ranch. So how did this go from ranchers to retailers? There's something that triggered this project that everybody forgot about. The flood of 1997. Would the marina be here or this shopping center be here today? If that had uh, happened, probably not. The 97 flood turned the old Helms Rock quarry into a lake. Councilman Phil Salerno was the chair of the redevelopment agency at the time. He recalls a conversation as the city council decided to go with the flow. So, you know, let's, let's make a marina out of it. Uh, you know, make, a, make it a place for gold. Let's use it to our advantage. And, and so we uh, started out uh, making our plans. Looking to leverage the new marina into something more, Councilman Ron Schmidt introduced Red Development to the site. Well, I'd just like to thank the mayor, Mayor Martini, uh, Ron Schmidt, for introducing us to this site six years ago and inviting us to come and try to, try to pull off this project, and all the rest of the city council members who really had the courage and the vision for this project. Courage that turned to enthusiasm when council members tour a successful Legends Mall built in Kansas City. It's our proven model in Kansas City with the retailers there doing uh, with same-store sales of 8% last year in 2008. It really proves up this value proposition and, and, the, and the mix. Started in strong economic times, then hit by recession, the project survived, creating some 7,000 construction jobs and ultimately 4,000 retail jobs. When finished, Legends will boast more than 100 tenants. Well, um, we talk about quality of life in the city of Sparks. Look what we've just done here. Look around today. You know, this is Sparks. You know, people coming here, you know, shopping, people have their families, look at the number of kids on out here, good wholesome atmosphere, history of our state, and everything fit together and what Sparks is all about. And uh, I don't think we could have found a better fit. So 
So what do shoppers have to say after the first day of looking around the new Legends at Sparks Marina? <laughs> There's some great discounts and good bargains. But I, I enjoy it, walking with her and walking her, have a good time, laughing, looking at everything, wanting to buy this and that. I think it's remarkable. I think it's going to be good for the community. Bring a lot of jobs, bring a lot of, you know, uh, people from other states, and it's going to be good. Tourists, jobs, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's in the wife shop and I can relax. Definitely going to come back here as soon as I can, like maybe in July. I was just telling my mom I'm coming back here to go to Skechers and Saks and all these stores. <laughs> So every time I actually, I was just telling her earlier that every time I come up here, I want to come shop here. A little later in the show, we'll take you on a walk through time. How much local history do you know? Of all the wonderful special events in the city of Sparks, one is attended by an amazing 76% of our residents. An overwhelming favorite offers music, food, and fun, and a chance to visit with your neighbors. It's Farmer's Market. traditionally do this every Thursday for almost 10 consecutive weeks. The only week we have off is the week where Hot August Nights is in town. Fresh fruits and veggies draw some 15,000 visitors to each week's farmer's market. Here folks can buy locally from some 125 vendors. One of the white nectarines. Now just remember on these, they're a little bit firm. So you give them a day, they'll get even sweeter. I usually get corn, cherries, plums, and apricots. <laughs> Pretty routine, everywhere, kind of boring. <laughs> I love the food. We just ate some corn and a pretzel, and we'll probably work our way down farther. <laughs> We mix up some white confection and then some peanut butter to coat the apple and top it off with chocolate. And then our last is our greatest creation. It's our Rocky Road apple. 